2013 the car bike that was the first um, uh, HRC uh, rally bike that's an X base right there that one really yeah so that was the first year 2012 we, we started um, testing and so that's built out of a 450X and then later on with this bike here um, this one that's kind of smashed up this was a, this was a prototype um, for what they ride nowadays. So, really? Yeah. So this bike was... All carbon fiber? Yeah, th this is a pretty crude model of, uh, of what they're racing now. But yeah, the tail sections are carbon fiber with plastic tanks inside. It's now all plastic tank here. And um, if you look at... But this, this bike that isn't anything production as far as chassis, motor... You know, everything is special. Did you uh, have a, was it easy for you to start learning like the, the coordinates stuff, all the, the navigation? Yeah. Um, I learned that in the mid nineties. Um, the, uh, at least the road books we learned. The, uh, the navigation as far as like with the GPS and, and the track compass heading and stuff, we didn't really know about it because we didn't even have those devices back then. Yeah. So all, all the stuff we did was a road book and odometer, it's right here. But yeah, I rode in the Nevada rally. Uh, they, they had a rally in, this, in Nevada three times, three, 93, four and five. And 93, I, was, I didn't ride. 94, I rode for the first time, but I was totally lost. Uh, but somehow I ended up second. <laughs> really? Just followed the smart guys. And then, uh, then we practiced this. We went out and made our own road books. Like in, every week we would, we would uh, practice each other's road books and learn how to navigate. And then in 1995, uh, we won the overall. That's awesome. And there's, there's actually a big old signboard up there hanging above the door back there. Yeah, so it's 1995 Nevada Rally Champion. That's cool. Here's a here's some like magazine covers for like the Africa Twin. We I we rode it uh, in 2016 in Vegas Torino as a publicity stunt. So that was that was fun. And that was during the. Uh, the BDR, the Nevada BDR. I helped those guys lay out the route through Nevada. That's cool. Um, this was at the press intro actually uh, for that out in, by Moab. So that's basically that bike up there. And then here's, here's a, a fun win ad after the Baja 2000. That's and right. Then that's Preston, he's 20 now. <laughs> so and is that the same bike over there yep that picture right there is like the epitome of baja yeah i mean it, that's actually up in the high desert but by over by Phelan. yeah that's just cool the winds wrecked havoc on some of my posters i gotta get i need to get that one framed so it doesn't fall off there's, that was on the BDR, the Nevada BDR there. That was big doing in um, Armagosa Valley. So this is the 2000. This is the 2000 winning bike, I guess. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't have a dry brake on it, but. <laughs>
and that that's a bigger back uh, rotor, right? Yeah, we were running. Um, we had to run that rotor. Like braking made us that special because it's thicker and it's floating. And we had a caliper from the race team that was John Michelle Bales. He used to oh, really? the brakes. And then <clears throat> that's actually probably when I started talking with you and got the good brake fluid. Yeah. Because we were, um, actually I think the road race team turned me on to the AP product. And then we started getting it from you. Timmy Wigand. That was the year Caselli died. This, this one right here. Yeah, that was the last year I fielded a Baja effort because we changed directions and went to GNCC after that. What is the uh, duct tape on the back? Oh, uh, it just keeps the glare out of the run. Ah, uh, okay. So it's just it's just a uh, cover. Okay. Hey, if you guys are new to my channel, here's a couple videos that can show you what exactly I do here. I take people places, plain and simple. So join me. Let's go Baja right here or High Sierras. See you on the next one.